podden snart slut. Det har varit ganska långt outro. Vi stänger av den här nu räcker. Det var lite masterplan. Uh, load. Där ja. <hör> Perfekt tror jag. Höger, vänster, upp, ner, fram och tillbaka, hit och dit. Kanon. Nu ska vi ner den portalen skulle jag. Oh boy. Tjena mås, virus. Tjonk, tjonk. Ser extra trött ut så är det för att jag, jag är trött. <laughs> Eller något sånt. Ah, ah, jag hade power-ups kvar. Spännande. Jag har inte koll på. Jag har några spyware. Ja, då tycker jag pratar skit så får du sätta den på ljudlös. Hmm, då måste man ju hoppa ner här. Då. Det finns inget teleport. Jag har mycket stalltid. Men vi kan hoppa ner åt det hållet. Hurry, kunde man. Vakta oss. Ja, det är inte mycket fin här. Det är här till och med. Ja, ja. Ska jag tälla på en gång? Ja, här kommer de allihop. Nej, ja, slut på bomben. Okej. Okay. Ja. Hur är läget? Sådär. Nej, vi var hit och färdiga. Här var det ändå glädje. Nej, nej. Nu har du lugnat ner sig lite så dyker upp en ny fiende. Såklart. Nu då? Nej, det var en mulig kvar där nere. Det var en avlägsen släkting, tror jag. Så du är väldigt rött ibland om ett logiska svar än de korrekta. Ja. Så är det. Varför krångla till det? Ja, och så ska vi... Nej. Stackars liten mumje kvar. Ja. Det har varit vi tog väg. Då har vi fyra av nio redan, vet du. Det går ju bra nu. <skratt> här åt kanske. Kan jag skjuta sönder då? Nej. Oj. Vi finner bakom oss. Bra. Vad snabb. Men någonting ändå. Den här dom har sådana här kartor som det är rätt meningslöst för man ser inte var man har varit någonstans för att den här kartan är liksom synlig direkt. Svårt att avgöra då. Okej, men det här måste ju vara... Där är en kristall. Hur kommer vi dit? Men det måste vi vara någonstans. Oh, här är vi börjar. Så gjorde man. Och nu är vi börjar igen. Då går vi hit då. Där var här vi var. Då går vi tillbaka till där portalen var så fortsätter vi därifrån istället. Det är mer så här bom. Vi kommer inte upp där här ifrån. Hup. 
Let's use it. Oh, that's good. Three money. Så jag gillar de här spikarna ser ut. De har så här härligt teckna och coola. I like. I approve. Här var portalen. Då fortsätter vi ner. Här var det. Här har vi klart. Ser vi för att det ligger en massa loot kvar. Det här ser stort och pråligt ut. Och en till moonwalkande sång. Eller mumie menar jag. Gillar de här homing? Åh, oh, vad svängde av. Nu ska vi se. Det ska man ha en plan på vad som händer om man trillar ner. Det hade vi inte. Kommer flygande där, precis. Ja, ah, miss! Det här kommer springa in om man ramlar ner. Okej, okay, men nu ska vi över här ser det ut som det. Jo, oh, nyckel. Jag har ingen nyckel. Hej! Jag uh, hoppar över tillbaka igen. Ska vi in där nere eller ska vi över hit? Vi får bara hoppa över hit först. Men nu är arbetsveckan slut. Nu kan man vila två dagar. Då ska du nog in där ändå då. Nej, här kan man hoppa. I missed this one. Uh oh. Nu är det sådär inte bra. Fantastiskt! 10 av 10! 10 av 10 och en spade grus på den nu. Välkommen grus för det läget. Hur står det till? Här är till. Just nu är vi tillbaka i början. Spännande. Vad hittar grus på en dag som denna? En fredda! Um. Jag springer hela vägen runt igen då, som vi så klantiga och ramlar ner. Så jag hoppar Så sakta vi ner lite här, landar på den, hopp där, bra. Säger han då faktiskt. Bara för att man får det. Hoppstuts, 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 hoppstuts. Vad är det inte gick så bra sist? Ja, så ser jag bomber. De var faktiskt användbara. Tror inte det du nu igen? Nej. Oj, nu när vi ner oss. Wow, 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 wow. Vad var det? Det var en umi antagligen. Sitter nu och mufflar gottan så jag ska få börja en liten diet imorgon och börja leva nyttigt. Annars är allt toppen. Nice. Var det popcornen eller? Sopar upp då? Vi behöver mer liv. Läget själv, det är bara bra. Trött. Men det får man väl vara en fredag, antar jag. Annars inte mycket att gnälla på. Oh, here goes nothing. Okej, okay, nu är vi här uppe, ja. 
Nice. Det där var mindre nice. Då tar vi hand om. Au! Gick jag in i skottet? Det var ju mindre lyckat. Mer bomber. Ännu mer bomber. Wow! Så här många bomber. De försvann så jag började misstänka att virus var hittat och åt upp dem. <laughs> ja. Okej, okay, vad har vi nu? Guldnyckel. Just det, det var... Ja, oh, måste jag springa runt hela vägen igen? Men vi... Ja, vi hade lite liv här, va? Igen. Vi springer runt. För det fanns liv här borta, i, på, in, ute i mitten gjorde det. Jag hade gömt det här gräset. Men jäkla. Ta dem här. Så, nu kan vi springa vidare. Nu har vi lite hjärtan och leka med här. Virus är oskyldig. Jag tror det ser ut som en dörr. Det var ingen dörr. Så, så tillbaka hit och så tillbaka dit. Och så ska vi ta det lugnt här. Nu har vi sprungit här ett par gånger. Sparar vi här igen då. Det var ett bra ställe att spara på. Studs och studs och studs. Okej, okay, vad finns det hemskt bakom dörren? Stort ljud och sladd. Står vi för möss med det här? Vad är det rapid fire? Vad nice, då tättar vi här. Jag ska spraya hela sidan där borta. Den suck! Ja, kanske de har. Så vi inte blir fullt överraskade av ett helt gäng med monster. Så. Så. Och så får vi loot. Nice. Jag har silvernyckeln med. Vad bra. Här kommer det en skorpion. Här har vi hand om. Lumier. You can speak some English if you want to. That's not gonna be a problem, I think. Welcome from UK. Uh, just gonna take out these scorpions. Get this crystal. Backtrack from silver key. There's mummies everywhere. Monsters spawned in here. I have no idea. Seems pretty safe. My Deutsch is only basic words and phrase. I don't speak much Deutsch either. Let's see, let's do a save. We do saves around here. Oh boy, that's a lot of spikes. Oh, panic. These platforms are so small. Oh boy, okay. Made it over. Now we need to go back to the beginning again. The portal is still active. I think we can 
take the portal. You know Hocus Pocus? I actually never played it. I kind of regret it now. I should have played Hocus Pocus before I did before I did this. I think that would have been more fair. You liked it? Okay. Good to hear. I might boot it up at some point in the future then. Yep, now we go back in here. So what's your, do you play Doom as well? Here's the door. Uh -huh. oh. Sends me of exhumed power slave the game. I'm not familiar with that, I think. Uh oh, there's a bat. There's multiple bats. Hello. This always use doors to your advantage. Always. If possible. Oh lordy, more bats. The last crystal should be in here. Pretty sure about it. You do play Doom, nice. That's the reason I picked this up, because I play a hell of a lot of Doom oh, on my spare time, and I like Doom projects that is a little different. This is different. Hmm. More teleporters, eh? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Off to Wonderland. Maybe? Where are we now? Okay, it's connected to the main area somehow. I don't think we're supposed to do that. Doom on your YouTube channel? It's one of my all-time favorite shooters of any kind. Same! <laughs> I would be so daring to say that Doom 2 is my favorite game of all time. Ever. <clears throat> okay, cool. There's nothing there. So we go this way. There's too much loot. I'm getting suspicious. Okay, so we kind of have to jump in through the windows now, because there's nothing here. Well, there's a couple of graphical glitches there. First I've seen so far. I don't really care, that was very minor. Platform games too, played a lot of Sonic when I owned the Mega Drive and the Dreamcast. I never got into Sonic. I played a hell of a lot of Mario instead though, which is platforming but slower, I guess. I don't know why we've been here. Yeah, we've been here. Huh, okay, so the silver key was just a treasure bonus. I've been tricked! Okay, cool. I thought I recognized the corridor when I looked in there. Okay, okay. Oh boy, that means the last crystal is somewhere else. <laughs> well, okay. If I were a crystal, where would I be? Donkey Kong Country is really good. All three of them, actually, on the Super Nintendo. I haven't played all the the, the Game Boy ones, Donkey Kong Lands. Uh, I've played. I played Donkey Kong Returns on the Wii. Was it the Wii or the Wii U? Oh, over here. 
Never played Tropical Freeze, because I didn't have the Wii U at that point when that came out. The Super Nintendo ones are so good. Also some of my favorite games. I'm a Super Nintendo kind of guy. That's, that's where I think gaming was... Not necessarily at its best, but really, really good. Uh, more mummies. Let's check it this way. This seems more promising. Triple Free Freeze is pretty good. Still like the SNES more than the other Nintendo consoles. Same. I do that too. The, this. What the hell? Okay. Uh, was he behind me? <laughs> okay, so let's load. Guess it's been a while, yeah. Never mind. We can do this again. Uh, it's fine. Okay, so now we know the silver door is. But I'm still gonna go there. I don't want to leave that much stuff. Even though the points isn't necessary for anything, really, I do kind of want to pick up as much as I can. I feel like it's worth it. Late 80s, early 90s, before the SNES. Yep. The Nintendo had some good titles. Bunch of the Mega Mans. Speaking of the Mega Mans, Darkwing Duck on the NES was pretty good. Super Mario games, of course. Journey, what was it called? Journey to Sirius? Sirius? Something like that was really good. Never really liked the Turtle games. And again, they made up for that by making Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo really, really good. Or is there a crystal here that's just hidden? I can't even hide them. Tillbaka från Icke annonserat Lurk, fast ni har letat på en video av hur det ser ut när man blir bannad i första Guild Wars. Oh, uh, we do English and Swedish, so... If I start speaking weird, it's Swedish. <laughs> det går bra, det går bra. Vi hittar silvernycklarna. Och all den här looten. So many, it's hard to remember all of them. Yeah, that's true as well. Oh, we, can't, we can't forget Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. Probably the best Zelda game. I haven't played a lot of them though, so I, I shouldn't say it certainly, but it's really good. Okay, so let's take a look here again. Who oh boy. Uh, and that is just this corridor. Nothing in the windows. So yeah, the silver key was just optional bonus loot. Cool. Now, let's see, this way? Yup, uh, cool, 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 cool. So let's go back to where we were. Before we got backstabbed by a mummy. Okay, cool. Let's just take a look. Metroid was interesting. I've only played Super Metroid through and through. I started playing the ones on Game Boy Advance, but I never got through them. And the NES Metroids I actually haven't played ever, I think. But I really should, because Super Metroid was really, really good. Again, the Super Nintendo delivering good games. Okay, so this is where we got teleported to up here. I see. 
did leave this. What was this? Rapid fire. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll take it. There's a mummy over here. Look, there's three mummies. There should be one more than three is an odd number. There we go. More enemies. Let's get murdered. Totally, brutally, and quickly. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. What the heck? Not cool. We got life here, though. Whoa, you could hit me from down there. You could, some mum mummy. I shoot through the windows, yes. Nice. Let's do some cheesing. Metroid Fusion, Metroid Prime. I've seen a lot of playthroughs of the Metroid Prime games on Twitch. Never really liked what I saw though, but maybe they're more fun to play than to look at. The transition to 3D in that game well, and people were worried it wouldn't work, but it was a big success. I have to take risks sometimes. Yeah. That is that's good. I like that too. Sometimes it doesn't pay out, but usually it turns out pretty good anyway. Should probably drop a save around here. So there's the crystal, so never mind. As soon as we kill these bats, we can end the level. Have all nine crystals. Let's see if we can grab the loot first, though. No, it's not really necessary. There we go. Did not get a hundred percent loot, but hey. We missed one loot. Ninety-nine percent. <laughs> Okay, we're not in Egypt anymore. Whoa, whoa. Oh, this is a start. Get out of my face. Batman. Uh, okay, so what do you have to say? Behold, young apprentice, this key will unlock a treasure room. There are four hidden switches in this castle. Flip all of the switches, then return to collect the key. That sounds like... A lot of work. <clears throat> Your sim session is not going the way you want it to. Egypt themed dooms? Yeah, we have Epic. I think Epic is pretty Egypt themed, right? Because we have flowers now. How are they gonna kill me? I don't want to know. Eggs? These dangerous? Nope. Well, at least not now. One of the other was called Epic Two. Yeah, Epic Two. Uh, that was the one I was thinking of. Mix of Egypt and alien themed maps. The first Epic is more serious Sam gameplay. What the hell is this? Porcupines. I. It's been so long since I played the first Epic, so I don't know much about it anymore. I think I liked it, because otherwise I probably would have just forgotten that I actually played it. Porcupine should be able to shoot, right? No? The flowers are shooting, though. What a world we live in. We should build a house, but I have no idea what to build. Build a bat cave. <laughs> I don't know. You have played way more sims than I have. Okay, we're about to die. Now there's a couple of hit points. Whoa! Stupid flowers. Get a garden, they said. It would be fun, they said.
The author who made it also made the brilliant Hellgrounds in 2009. Oh god, there's so many Doom Wards named Hell or something. I can't, I can't remember them apart anymore. But I think I'll play that. Okay, so let's take this. Uh, what the heck? More bats? Ugh. We need to find more health somewhere. Pretty low. Is that another flower? Yep. Figured. Hell grounds, hell grounds. Was it hell bound? Maybe I'm thinking of. Hell ground, there is only one with that name, yeah. That specific name. So this is, must be the key to the treasure room. Okay. What? What? Oh, it was an elevator. Hellbound was released 2013. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dang. This is gonna hurt. Can't hurt when we die. Totally different looks to Hellground. I'm just gonna Google Hellground quickly and see what it is. Hellground Doom. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's the one with the library and stuff, right? Okay, I'm, I think I'll play that. It has that Baron of Hell room where there's a lot of Barons. <clears throat> yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I saw Decino on YouTube play through one of the levels. That's why I remember it. I myself haven't played it in years and years and years. What is this? We need health, not more enemies. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Could there be health up there with all the loot? Maybe. Oh, so many enemies. More there. Gotta have to play slow now. Okay, so there's two more hit points. That's good. I like that. The music is dark too, yeah. yeah I, I need to play that again as well. <laughs> I need to play everything I've already played again, I guess. Okay, so we're back up here. Save there. Whoa, there's some bombs. I like bombs. Give me all of the bombs. Shakes, yes. I know why porcupines are annoying now. They grow so fast. Uh, let's kill him before he gets here. Thank you. I'm on a hard setting, yeah? Not the... Uh, I'm on Ultra Violence. I always play Doom on Ultra Violence. With very, very few exceptions. Nightmare? I never play Nightmare. Nightmare isn't even remotely funny. <laughs> to me, that is. There are people out there who likes it, but I don't. the difference is in this project I guess there's lesser and en fewer enemies and easier settings okay so there's a power-up of sorts oh. whoa we should have taken the power-up Did 
just the pinkies in Doom. You just kite them and you, sh you usually end up fine. Can't really do anything if they don't get you. Just gotta remember their spikes. Should probably not walk on spikes. It's probably a bad. Oh my lord, there's even more. Who let the porcupines out? Nightmare would be too hard on the Doom what we have now, yeah. Some are too hard for me to play with Ultra Violence. Well, same. Usually when I try the, the Slaughter map once, I usually can't do Ultra Violence. Then again, I tend to stay away from Slaughter maps. I promised myself I'm gonna try and get through Sunlust at some point this year. Been too scared to start that one up. It was horribly difficult. I'm gonna give it a try. It's one out of six crystals. There's a lot of bats over there. Maybe we should get them over here. I'm not sure I'm gonna play Sunlust and Ultra Violence the first time around. That seems like a death wish. <laughs> I wish you got health from picking up the crystals. That would have helped. How did that hit anything? Someone is streaming TNT on Ultra Violence right now? Oh, that's fine, that's fine. TNT is the easy one. Plutonia is the hard one. <laughs> Plutonia is way worse. Oh crap, it's like night and day. It's not hard on early, now the, the later levels looks amazingly hard though. Uh, okay. We're just gonna cheese all these enemies from down here, so we don't have to deal with them later. Because that's how we roll. I mean, this is just casual fun playthrough, we shouldn't worry too much. Can we cheese? We cheese. I learned that from Super Mario Maker. If you can cheese it, cheese it. Could have put a wall there so I couldn't shoot them. It's it's the map maker's fault. It's not mine. What what kind of sims are gonna live in the house, Spyware? Maybe that will help what kind of house it should be. Help to figure it out. So my lord fuck. Okay, that did not work out very well. <clears throat> I touched the spikes. Even though I shouldn't have. Alright, we're gonna have to deal with all of these again. That's fine. We can do that. They weren't that annoying. No, no, no. Just like in Doom, you think the demon is dead, but it's not, and it hurts you. Never take for granted that anything is dead. You gotta see a body, you know? Well, in this case, they don't leave bodies, but you see the explosion. What? Bunch of enemies here, all right? Huh? Here though. Why didn't all of them spawn if I could use a bomb? This is just annoying. What? Where did you... Okay. Fair. Fair enough. 
It's my off the grid tiny house, 100 baby challenge family. So I only get to build a house that is 32 tiles big. Super easy to build something modern in that size, but I want something more cabin-y, and that's hard to do without looking in like a boring box. Okay. Looks like you have some planning to do. Whoa. Pretty beautiful projectiles, though. We do bomb. There we go. Get rid of them all at the same time. That saves me time. There's one flower less. Oh. That's too many misses. Like the trees, yeah? yeah. So far, I haven't seen anything in this game that I don't like. Except dying, but that's not a thing on the map. There's a health, okay. Nice. These flowers need to go, and these bats need to stay away. Those porcupines can die. Save. Can we shoot something from here? We can shoot these flowers. And this bat's coming, so we need more visual. There we go. Get, 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 get out of here, bat. You're drunk. Maybe. There we go. I don't know why they're dying so much. Are you hyped for Doom Eternal though? That could be a good question. Did you like Doom 2016? Okay, I'm gonna drop a save. No, now we don't have to do any of that again, unless we learn that my save is crap. Water is not deep. Whoa, that's not even water, that's just spikes. I don't have any, oh, bats happen here. That is true, bats happen here. Shoot at the back one until this one comes up again. Uh, you can roll around up there, that's fine. Nice little show. That needs to go. I like those trees. Yeah, I've seen the Archvile presentation on the trailer. I do not look forward to facing the Archvile. They use. Oh, I want that thing. I get that thing. Weird, I want that thing. Oh, hang on, let's just quickly do a quick run back here. Because maybe that's just on the other side of that little bridge I haven't walked over yet here. Whoa! Flower McFlowerson, get out of my face. Maybe not. Are these okay? These are ones you can shoot. Okay, so that's just one of them switches. Homing shots. I like homing shots. Okay, that's probably a good run back anyway, even though it wasn't what I was hoping for. Okay, never mind. I'll 
I think we get there later. I'm doing 2016. Yes, I still play deathmatch online multiplayer for that. Ooh, the on the multiplayer is still on. I can't really get myself to start 2016 now that Eternal is so close. The campaign was pretty fun, especially the boss fights. The campaign was really good. I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. I didn't think I wouldn't shouldn't. Oh. I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it as much as I did. Maps work was larger in Doom 2016 than standard Doom. I'm sure the Oshford will have a lot of room to run around because Mayhem in Doom Eternal. Can't support me, hope so. I also hope they update the, the snap map so we can make better levels ourselves. I never liked the restrictions they had. What was yellow? Super jump. Okay. What the heck would I need a super jump for? That was a good bomb. Of there's more. So there's traps out there. I'm just gonna leave that super jump there because I don't know where I'm supposed to need it yet. Come on, come on, I saw you. Let's see. That sound effect doesn't get annoying after all. Uh, no, never, ever. It's the best sound effect ever. I've seen some massive custom maps with classic Doom that takes hours to complete just one. Yeah. Was it called Eternal Doom? That was a set of really big maps. I'm not sure I like those maps that big. Ooh, how did I dodge that? Whoa, I did not dodge that though. Oh, stupid water level. Okay, 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 okay. What's in here? Ooh, another switch. Two more. Two to go. Quick championship. Oh. Uh, some very skilled players online. If you don't know how good they are, have a look at Raf versus Agent. Those guys are amazing. I I I played that for a while, but I did not get any good. <laughs> Multiplayer shooters isn't really my thing, but I usually give them a try. <laughs> some of them. Most of them was just boring. I enjoyed Doom 2016 multiplayer for a while. I was 
never any good at it, so... Fortnite sucked balls. That wasn't fun at all. What else have I tried? Counter-Strike is okay. Team Fortress is kind of boring. Ooh, this, this looks like a nasty place. Got a spell upgrade at least, and that's good. Multiplayer does help with skill for single player. Yes, you, your reaction times... Your reactions improves a lot. If you play a lot of multiplayer. Other human players are always gonna be harder to kill than AI enemies. I'm just gonna bomb those. Three out of six, halfway there. Living on a prayer. Okay, so do we jump down or do we? I don't think we missed. We missed that little hallway there, but that's just that's just symmetry. There's nothing there. I would be surprised if there's something there we need. So let's go back this way. We never took that thing. Fireball. Sure. We have three fireballs now. So for once I would like 200 enemies at once. Fireballs is like the BFG in this game. Sort of. Oh, um, that's one enemy though. There's a few. What? Okay, so they're so spread out, it's not funny. I ask for something, I get it, and still I complain about it. <laughs> Great. One more. Okay. I'll probably jump to there from here, right? No, that's it's kind of deep in. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna go. That's not gonna work. Well. Okay. Um, where have we, we haven't been over there. Let's see if we can get there. I don't even know where that is. All right, it's down here. Thankfully, there's no fall damage. I hate fall damage. Fall damage was a stupid invention. Very, very stupid. Drop a save here. Is that a rapid fire? I think that was rapid fire. That was rapid. On a big try to get good is watching a good player online and observe his strength and weaknesses. Yeah, that's 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 a good way to learn. You can't spawn flowers like that. Ooh, there it is. Give it to me. Full health and bonus health. Nice. So that's how you got there. Yeah, now it feels better. Let's get back down. Last time I picked up a rapid fire, we had a lot of enemies teleporting in. That was nasty. Out of power-ups, let's kill as many enemies as we can. 
before we go down there. Was there a porcupine? Or did I just imagine a porcupine? Oh crap, let's pick up the rapid fire. And kill things. Oh, bats. There's an even more annoying sound effect, virus. Sound effects, just a lot of it. Okay, that didn't last that long. It's a lot of height here, yeah, it is. I like it. Just flat levels get boring pretty quickly. You need a couple of stairways or an elevator or something to add more interest to a level. That's a good idea, I think. Okay, so what is this just? And that's an elevator. I think Hexen was first with this kind of water, right? Doom didn't have it, so. I don't know. I like water like this. I really liked Hexen because they had those green, I don't remember the names of them, but water serpent enemies. They weren't too bad. They were a little annoying to hit with the axe though, but got a hang of it. Okay, so we go up. I don't think we can do anything down here. There's a fast elevator. Stand here though, so that porcupine can't hit us at least. Beat the system this way. Okay, I'm gonna get you over there. Get you gone. There are seven portals in Beyond Heretic. I don't remember that. That flower is just continuously teleporting here and there. If you go too far away, the enemies disappear and then they reappear when you get closer again. That's probably what happened there. Somehow I was stuck right in the sweet spot. Oh. Upgrade. Oh, there's the last switch. Let's just clear before we do that in case, you know, a lot of enemies and all that. I want this loot. Again, points are just for bragging. And we got about two and a half million points on the first episode. So point-wise, it should be over pretty soon. The bars are open now. There's a crystal. Ooh, can you jump? Is that a jumping puzzle? Not really a puzzle, it's two jumps, eh? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, how the hell do I get it then? Oh, maybe I get from above. So how do I get up there? Pretty hard. Or oh, the aim is turned off. I'm like, dude, it's of course turned on. I always turn it off when I play. Holy crap! Okay, that didn't work. I can't deal with the auto aim. I just kill myself with the rocket launcher all the time if I have the auto aim on. 
Oh boy, it's not a fun sight to see. <laughs> so used to playing with it off that I just it's just no it doesn't work. <laughs> the rocket just flies, you know, towards an enemy which is below me and it just blows up on the floor right in front of me. I can't do it. I prefer mouse look and aim that way instead. Sometimes you can make it too easy also, like you can miss left or right of a mouse and still lock onto it, yeah. That's why I don't like it. I like aiming. That's why that's one of the things I like in the in the shooters. I like aiming. And auto aim just I use auto aim when I play on consoles, if I ever play on consoles. Because I can't aim with a controller. I can, but I'm just I'm too slow. Yes. Ask, is there something behind me? Okay, so we still need two crystals. I know where one is. I just don't know how to get it yet. Hubba hubba hub hub hub. Porcupine, 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 porcupine face. Whoa. Porcupine had him. There's another super jump? I still don't know where to jump. Oh! Maybe I can jump up to get the crystal? Maybe that's what I want me to do. That's a lot of flowers. It's an entire garden. Oh, I like those bombs. They're so good. If you hit with them, that is. There's a lot of points here. Why is there so much points here? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I can't resist. Huh, we got all the loots on the level. You see those tiny, tiny red eyes on the dragon statues there on the UI? If they're blinking red, we have all the loot on the level. Those tiny, tiny eyes are now red, so we have it all. <laughs> How do I get out of here from here, though? How do I get out of here? Oh, don't take that just yet. Can't be stuck here, right? That would be that would be stupid. There's gotta be a way out, right? Yeah, this looks like a way out, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, let's take a look. Let's go grab the. A super jump, right? No, it was not a super jump. What the hell? What was that? Then? It looked like this. Okay, fine. It was not a super jump. Never mind then. And we still need to figure out how to get the last crystal. Climbing it. Who will leg it? Ruby gem eyes, yeah, indeed. Um, this way. Which is no, it was not this way. It's absolutely not that way. Which way was it? It was this way. Let's go back there and see if we can figure it out. Not a super jump either. 
could I have been so wrong? No, got that part of the map as well. Was this not the right way? No, it was not. What the hell? Okay, never mind. Okay, now then we just go back to the beginning. Jumpy, jumpy. Allt är bra här. Skönt att höra. The hardest shooting game I've played. Good question. Hmm. I mean, none of the old shooters are really hard. Um. Doom, Doom Two. Well, the f the fourth episode of Doom is pretty hard, but that's not its own game. Thy flesh consumed. Tony is pretty hard. Uh, Duke Nukem is pretty easy. Shadow Warrior was kind of easy. Doom 2016, well, I died a couple of times. Not super hard. What more can I play? Oh. What the hell? What kind of puzzle is this? Hey. <laughs> Unreal. I've only played through that once, and that was back in the day, so I don't remember anything. Could have been hard, yeah. Just I don't remember. Like, God damn it. 1998, now I feel old. <laughs> uh, does it lock in place or something? Stalin's subway, never heard of. Never even heard of. Okay, made it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Gives you barely any cover from soldier fire. Okay, that well that sounds hard. 100% uh, treasure, but we missed one enemy somewhere. <laughs> and no time bonus. I don't think I've gotten a single time bonus yet. Okay. Uh huh. Gold key for that. Start by sniping some flowers. I will be sniping me. Is Russian fairly old? I don't think I've played any Russian games. At least not without translations. FPS is really big in Russia. God damn it, Porcupine. I'm trying to read the chat here. Could we relax a little bit? Why are you so anti-chat, porcupine? Do you have to hide behind small bunkers and crates with a lot of bullets are hitting you from across a big open area? A lot of exposure to get hit on. That sounds annoying. Stalin Subway. Is that. S I need to play the Metro games too. I don't think they're difficult, but I read the books, and the books are really, really good. Speaking of Russia and shooters. What the hell? That porcupine was on something. So 
Might have good Doom and Quake players. Yep. Okay, is that it? For this area. doors and another key this is a bronze key yeah so we need a bronze key and we need a gold key right reminds me of golden eye a little bit but difficult I played golden eye on the n64 that was not too difficult either Hmm, I'm trying to think of more shooters that I was... I never really played any of the hard, hard ones, I guess. I guess I got stuck in Doom and kept playing Doom. Quake is good. Quake 1 and 2 is really, really good. Quake 3 was just multiplayer and Quake 4 I haven't tried yet. Probably good, right? I also played all the add ons for Quake and Quake 2. Whoa, what the hell? I learned today that there is actually an expansion pack for Shadow Warrior. I did not know about that. So I need to find that and play that. Because the original Shadow Warrior was really good. I wonder why I missed that there was an expansion for it. Seemed like a thing I should have kept track of. Somehow I didn't. Turok on the Xbox. I watched a playthrough of Turok. It looks really good. I think I have it on my wish list on Steam, so I'm gonna get to that at some point. I did sort of remakes for the two games. That's loot, that's loot. That's flower. I never heard about it either. I saw I saw Indie stream it earlier today. So it's I He said it was an expansion. I guess it's an expansion. Or it's a very big fan project. Do I want to go here? Yeah, probably. Pick up all these gems. There's something in there shooting at me. That's a waste a couple of shots there. I confess. Ugh, platforming. Really? Yeah, that's platform. It was 1997 along the same year as Hexen 2 and the game. Oh, Blood is good. Blood is really good. Never tried Blood 2 though because it seemed pretty bad. Never played Hexen 2 either. I want that bomb. 
to do more platforming. Heck. Return to Castle Wolfenstein on hard mode was a tough playthrough. I would have played it on medium, I think, back in the days. Holy crap! I mean, Wolfenstein 3D had some hard levels too. Can we just make this now? <sighs> I'm too paranoid. I need to always need to know back up a bit. And I don't know if I'm too close to the entry or not, so I just back off the platform instead. Pretty annoying. But it's my own fault. I'm also not gonna save after each jump because that seems excessive. I can save here though. That's fine. Okay, what did we get? Gold key and a crystal. So we need five more of those. Nothing here, nothing there. Okay, so we just down and go back up. I need to play the new... Oh, shit. Ow, ow. Why am I... Why do I keep running? That's not a good idea. It's a oh, bad idea. That was stupid. Who am I gonna blame for that? I guess I have to blame myself. Fire faster by clicking faster. That took too long to figure out. <laughs> oh, okay. Pick up that. Play Wolfenstein Old Blood on PS4 and follows the event and return to Castle Wolfenstein. I think it might even be a direct sequel. Killing evil Nazis is satisfying. Yeah, it is. It never gets old. Let's see. I played through one of those. New can uh, sorry, new Wolfenstein games. I think I played the one that came second, the, the prequel, if you will. <clears throat> then I got through half of the other one, and I never played the second Colossus, whatever. So I need to get on that too. <laughs> My backlog is humongously huge. That's my problem. I have too many games I never play. And when you stream, people always talk about games and then you realize, oh, I haven't played this, I haven't played that. I need to play this, I need to play that. And then you just realize how, how big your backlog actually is. Split shots. Nice. More porcupines. Oh, we have a bat though. Good music here. There's too many, yeah, there's too many. Well, there's, there's too many games I want to play and too little time. I need to stream more, I guess. Personally, I'm, I'm a bad player because I, I start playing a game, then I quit and start a new game, and then I never get back to the old ones. But when I stream, I actually try to finish games, which is good. So you just stream every time I play something, but that doesn't really work. And then I keep getting stuck in games that never really end, like I played World of Warcraft way too long, Currently stuck in Guild Wars 2 and Path of Exile. Path to Exile? Never learned if it's 2 or off. But hey, 
those kind of games, they never really end, so you just keep playing. It's fun though, so that's why I... That's why I'm doing it. Lampard, thank you for the follow. Bands, so that's what, like I said, all the spell upgrades do. Finally figuring things out. Should they get this flower again? Play the story in Guild Wars 2 and then we'll have an ending. <laughs> True? You get credits? Oh, you get a credit? Well, then it's actually an ending. Let's do a save here before we... Pengal Tiger, thank you for the follow as well. Okay, what is this? Petrified Leaves? No. Weird platforms? Yes. Where am I supposed to go here? What is this? More split shots, okay. And you get to kill a dragon? So get to it. Ah, oh, yes, ma'am. I will. <laughs> this is just backtracking, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's go over there. If you ever come back here at a later stream, don't be afraid to ask for, for me to speak English if I'm not. Don't ever be afraid to do that. That is totally fine. I just most of my viewers are Swedish, so I sometimes get stuck in Swedish. Even though I try. No, 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 no. So never be afraid to ask like you did when you came here today. That goes for anyone out there. If you want me to speak more English, just ask. It should be fine. Except for tomorrow, I won't do that, but uh, hey. You have to have an exception, right? I am more than once I start a try to finish type of player. Well, that sounds like a better player than me. <laughs> and it's not a very good story. They made Hoda a little bit better, and then Path of Fire was really good. But the best one so far has been the last two seasons, so they just get better and better with storytelling. You would have to poke me to play some of those stories though, if you don't want to pay. Oh, okay, that's true. Not all of them were included. Tomorrow's stream is gonna be a special stream, so... That's only gonna be in Swedish, sadly. I just wanna jump up and kill that flower. It looks so, I don't know, innocent. Um, kinda need to jump down there, I think. I don't think I can get up on top of those. What do, oh, spikes, porcupines. Again for free if you log in, there's a new one that came out on Tuesday this week. I need to log in then. I actually haven't done that in a couple of days now. Been a bad boy. Did you ever play the old Tomb Raider games? They were good. The original in 1996 was a work of art. From Greece to ancient Rome to Egypt and the New Atlantis. Many ancient themes. I have played one of them. Let me think here. It was... What the heck was it named? Was it... I think it was one of those... What the hell is this? Let's dance. Called anniversary? No. What's it called? A 
was something like that. It was a anniversary. I think it was anniversary, right? I played that and I played the new ones. I own all of the old ones on Steam. I just haven't played them. I think I, it must have been anniversary. So that is gone now. Let's get up there. Every time I see them, I just want to play the, the one that people don't like. It's called the Angel of Darkness or something like that. People say it's really, really bad, but it looks good. Let's drop the save. Maybe Legends or Underworld. You know what? I'm just gonna look at my YouTube. I have it there. Uh, that is not gonna take very long. Your channel. Let's go. Did I make a list? I, I'm so bad. Tomb Raider Legend. Yeah, Legend. Not anniversary. I played Tomb Raider Legends. It's just oh, that was my old layout. Holy crap! Huh, kind of what I have now, but in another Legends. I played Tomb Raider Legends. Not anniversary. And then I played the three new ones. I'm still playing the third, so, but the first, I kind of like those reboots. The first one was good, the second one was not good, and the third one is very good so far. Okay, we got a key. We have three keys? Okay, wow. Where the hell did we find all those keys? <laughs> ah, we need to backtrack, right? Like, a lot. Ooh, we have the entire other side there. Let's start with this. This looks suspicious. Legends and Underworld makes a series together with Anniversary. Okay. The first game is still my favorite where it is. <laughs> and the atmosphere and soundtrack. <laughs> I have an online friend called Burkman. He played the first level blindfolded of the first... Uh, Tomb Raider. That was pretty amazing to see. That was a crazy, crazy man. Okay, we're just gonna clear this place then. One stupid flower at a time. Legends is a reboot and tells the origins of Lara Underworld, a direct sequel and anniversary is a remake of the first game that sort of fits with those new ones at the time. Yep, yep. I trust you. There we go. Enemies are cleared. We'll take the crystal and we go. Then we have another lock over here. Is that going to be something similar? The 1996 game starts in the mountain in Peru and the Andres. Again, I watched Indy. He, he's, he streams us a lot of those old Tomb Raider games. <laughs> There's so many games I want to play. I should just take a huge bank loan, quit my job, and stream 24-7. Is that a good idea? 
No, it's not. Absolutely not a good idea. Would be fun, but it's not a good idea. Okay, there's a bat. Oh, okay, we got some sort of lasers. I like this laser. Dead porcupine. Uh, it goes across South America as a mountain range. They like mountains in uh, Tomb Raider. Have you tried the new Tomb Raiders? Spyware played 1 to 4 a lot as a kid. The Himalayas in Asia is mostly India, yeah, and there's the South America. Then I got 5 and 6 for PC, and I like them even though people always hate on them. Huh, do I want to jump down there? Looks interesting. Oop, super hell. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's jump over here. Let's jump over there. Let's jump here and there. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Whoa. I need to bind a better key for jump, I think. S the sound of the track reminds me of Terranigma on the Super Nintendo. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Whew! Tomb Raider 2 97 has a setting in Venice, Italy, and deeper in the game went into China, displaying the Great Wall in the country. Now that Great Wall has been in a lot of things. So we don't spawn. Oh, there's a flower over there. There's two. This is where we need the key. First, we're gonna loot the place. You know, when you listen to music a lot in a specific setting or doing something, then it will forever remind you of that thing. Yes, I know. I know that feeling. Oh. What is... Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Now we just have to jump all the way up again. And in Tomb Raider 3, you go to India to discover an ancient Hindu religion and encounter Shiva. In Hindu religion, it isn't the god of destruction like Seth in e Egypt. Okay, so there, there's a lot of mythology in those games. Which I guess is logical. Kind of easy to build on that. What's on top of the tree? Oh, another crystal. Nice. Now we're only missing one, which I began to guess is behind the locked door. Otherwise, what should we have the locked door for? There goes nothing. Let's just shoot like Grey Grey. Hack. No, he just went around and I didn't pay attention. Okay. 
Whoa, another one. Hit it. I also have songs that relate to specific areas of World of Warcraft, mostly Outland areas. I like the Outlands. I liked it back then. Nowadays I think it's a little empty. But it's still good. Can I shoot this floor? I can't shoot this floor. What's under here? Loot! And a teleporter. Interesting. I wonder where that teleporter goes. Is it somewhere nasty? Oh. I have bombs. I should use bombs. Why am I going this way? Rise of the Tomb Raider looked good, but I didn't play it. I really, really like the first. That was the first one of the new ones. So there's the last crystal. Let's clear and then we go check where the teleporter goes. Then we end the level, I guess. Jeez, there's not a lot of ones there. I just want some of the flower, thank you. Finally. <laughs> Took like forever. care about I just want to know where it leads me I should take the rapid fire before I go Let's see what happens I think we're in the trees. Oh, there's flowers. Keep spawning enemies while we have the rapid fire. We can loot afterwards. So there's the teleport out of here. Which means I think we found it all. Looty, 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 the place. Whoa, it's one of those big points. 25,000 points. Tomb Raider 4, by the way, was mostly Egypt and actually is believed to be the end of Lara Croft's journey. That's why they named the last revelation in the title, but they never stopped making games, did they? <laughs> That's like... Oh, was it... Was it... Nightmare on Elm Street 5? Freddy's Final Nightmare? And then they made like three movies after that? Yeah, that wasn't very final, was it? <laughs> 99? We missed four treasure, okay? But we killed all the enemies set in different time periods okay who do you have to say the three demons can take a lot of damage beware what the hell there's a ball okay boss fight because this is the final level of this episode i guess wait health bars what the heck what is going on whoa that's a lot of spikes Spikes out of here, bruh. I just wanna kill this thing. Ooh, okay, that's one. You said there were three? I 
guess I got a little lucky there. None of the flowers actually hit me or anything. Well, maybe the next boss is even worse. We'll see. One demon is down at least. These are the nasty tree demons they were talking about in the story. See, that's what happens when things are too profitable. I'm not complaining. I, I like the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I wish they made even more. I guess those. I, I haven't seen the reboot because I. I don't like them changing the main actor like that. I mean, Robert Englund is. Freddy Krueger to me, not that other guy, whoever it was in the new version of the movie that I haven't seen, I probably never will. Now one day I'll probably gonna watch it, but I'm not. Still a little salty. As the, as the user said, Legends, which came out around 2007, 11 years after the first game is set, before all of them. Including the original. I thought the same for the Halloween movies. I have no connection to the Halloween movies. I think I've seen a few of them, but... Uh, I never really liked those. Huh, can we see something from up here? What is this? Why are those there? Just for funsies? I'm guessing England's getting a bit old to be Freddy. True, true. He's, he's... Don't know how old he is, but he's getting old. Yep. He's six crystals and three bosses. The reboot isn't bad. I liked it. Maybe I should give it a go. Is it on some sort of Netflix around here? Otherwise I probably won't watch it anyway. What the heck? Jeez, they just sneak up on me. Loud rolling porcupines and still they sneak up on me. What the hell? It isn't fair. Okay, let's see, new keys, interesting. Huh, there's a flower in there. Can't see to shoot it from here. I tried. You all saw that. But since I didn't really want to make more, the 5th and 6th game were worse and sold like crap. But then they tried the thing with Legend Anniversary Underworld and that didn't really work either. I think those are great games now. We played them all recently except Underworld that I haven't gotten to yet. He's 72? Well get back in front of the camera old man! What the hell? We can make a, a movie with Freddy Krueger in a wheelchair. That's not gonna be a problem. He had one of those killer wheelchairs in the movie anyway. Then it got destroyed by some wizard boy, but hey, it was in the movie. It's canon. Put, put England in it and uh, let him drive around and slice up kids again. Wes Craven made Scream, which was a spoof. Oh, Scream, God, that was not good. I remember seeing Scream 2 in the cinema because my at the time girlfriend wanted to see it. It was not good. <laughs> I'm 
guessing the second boss is gonna be here. I'm just gonna be very very lame and shoot this before picking up the fire power up. That way we can hurt stuff with the power up instead of breaking blocks with it. Sounds way smarter, if you ask me. There we go. On those there. We should be good to go. Oh, huh, it wasn't the boss. Thought this looked like a nice round boss room. More power-ups. More flowers. Okay. Ah, so this is the center room. And then there's one boss on each side. What's on the fourth side? There's just three bosses. I really want a good... Freddy the Krugel game as well. There's been relatively few games with Nightmare on Elm Street. Terror on Elm Street? I don't remember which is the original series name. There we go. Uh huh. We have a lot of bats. Let's see if we can deal with them first. up a little bit more. Use those laser beam power-ups again. There's the boss. It's a gold key. I've seen one crystal so far. So there is things here. <clears throat> Uh, the latest reboot of Tomb Raider sold a lot more than the original though, but the sales kind of died down for the sequels. Silly Xbox exclusivity move killed a lot of the series' momentum. I don't like exclusivity. I guess the boss spawns when you pick up the key. Super health, that's good. Hello? Hey, you, Mr. Flower, how are you doing? Everything is fine. Huh, okay. Can't see much to do. Spawn some porcupines in there. Can I jump up here? No. Okay, well, we'll grab the key and see what happens. PlayStation did the same with Tomb Raider as the developer's core design were tied with Sega consoles. And it was released on the Sega Saturn before they sold out to Sony because they offered a better contract. <laughs> okay, so if, if, if the boss spawns here. Should be a boss here. Yep, there he is. Pick up these things. I guess I need to get down there. Oh, I can shoot him from here. Oh god, he can shoot me too. Hey, tree head. Trunk, brunk, or whatever your name is. I don't know, I don't care. I'm just gonna die. This weapon is good. Okay, so now these have lowered. Okay. Interesting. Now we can get up here. Hmm. I guess we're not supposed to go that way.
Whoa. Oh, crap. Oh, jumpy, jumpy. And again, and again, and again. There we go. And we got a key. That's also good. Let's see, what key was it, though? Gold key. Where did we need gold key? Oh, in here. No, this side? I get exclusivity stuff on development is paid by the ones getting the exclusivity, so to speak. It's like Bayonetta 2 not being made unless Nintendo's put some money on that. Yeah, okay. That's. That is okay. What? Is boss again? I'm stuck here, right? Yep. Fuck. I want to go and pick up that. Oh, there's a power up. Okay. Um. Uh huh. I guess trees are weak to fireballs. Makes sense. And then it's paid exclusivity. There's a teleporter up there. What is it doing up there? Oh, is that a super jump? That's gotta be a super jump done. Right. I can see, there's nothing down here. So we don't pick that up just yet. We need to. Have a conversation and do platforming at the same time. Fucking bad. <sighs> okay. We'll just do this boss again. Next time I'm gonna say after the boss. Could be a good idea. Very easy. Now we're going to save here. Rise of the Tomb Raider is now exclusive to Xbox One. Square Enix clearly wants the game to be uncharted, as in not entering the charts. I see the pun news, and that's brilliant. I need to play the uncharted games too. I didn't like the first one. Fuck. What are you doing? My man? Tree, my friend, my everything. Okay, let's pick this up. Now we do all this again. Okay, cool. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Bats. Right, there's more bats in every one of these. Call it. Openings. Fall, fall down holes. There we go. Oh, there's another bat. Get out of my way. Take this loot and we'll read up on chat.
Bum 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 bum. Uh, I know a lot of people were surprised when they played the Uncharted collection. Wait, Uncharted 1 isn't really any good, huh? Uncharted 2 is great, 3 is okay, have not played 4 yet. <laughs> Uncharted 2, this is yeah. I will always have an internal bias towards Tomb Raider in its genre. Sorry, Uncharted. Guess it's just what nostalgia does to our brain. Yeah. Nos Hang on a minute. Uh, we need to. Okay, so I can jump here. Excellent. I was just gonna. How am I gonna get up there? But. I figured it out. Now we need to stand under this thing. Jump. Super jump is one time. And you jump, I guess, as high as you can, as long as you hold the button down. I haven't really figured it out 100% yet, but that's how I think it works right now. We found a hidden treasure room. I don't think there's gonna be a crystal in here. That would be a little weird. I don't like when they hide keys and things that you actually need in optional secret places. Well, let me rephrase that. Secrets should be optional. So they shouldn't contain keys or items you need to progress. That was a better phrasing. So I, I don't like that in Doom maps when people put keys in secret places. What's the point? That's just annoying. <clears throat> okay, we got back here. Nice, nice. But we already killed three demons. Did he say three demons? He didn't say. Th Maybe he didn't say three demons. Maybe he said three demons. I'm gonna go look up that. It's three demons. Okay, I read it wrong. There's more than three. There's more than three. Wow. The word tree and three is kind of like each other. Not gonna lie. Mixed them up before. I might do it again. Wow, why so many breakable blocks though? It wasn't fun the first time. Okay, 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 so what's here, let's save, because we do need to finish this at some point. Oh, porcupine. That's not the key I was looking for. Say C3 tree bees quickly 10 times. No, thank you. I don't want to do that. Sounds annoying. One more. So I need to find one more key. Is that what you're telling me? It's probably in here, though. Here we go again. Breaking breakable blocks like a tree. these blocks faster. Since there's not really any enemies there. There's a key. Good. Guess we have to run around to get it. It's one of those setups. Guess I can't jump up here. Nope. That's a breakable block bridge. We probably shouldn't break it. Hope we can go up here. This seems too easy. Oh, that was too easy. So what's down here then? Another boss boss. Maybe. Ah, 
I'm gonna need a toilet break after this level. say three is tree and five is time. Okay, we'll learn some Irish today. There's always water in a flower, right? So they can bleed that. If this was a Doom level, that would be a secret. Is it the accent that makes it sound the way they spell that in English still? Okay. This, this Irish and Scottish have nice accents. Or at least I like them. That's the wrong way. I'm just gonna take this now. Just read it, maybe? Sort of. This is not the right key. This is not the right key. Damn it. Uh huh. Where was the silver key locked then? Here. Never mind, I figured it out. All I had to do was find it and then I knew where it were. Gaelic is spoken in part of Scotland that are Roman Catholic and across the country of Ireland, of course. Learn a lot today. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. More bombs? How do bombs work on bosses? They should. Ooh. Bad had a plan. He was trying to eat my face off. Yahoo! Heard it in game just now. Uh, is this a boss? Could be a boss. Looks like a boss. Health meter, that is a boss. Whoa. Shoot. I mean, they have a lot of hit points, but. I haven't really posted a real threat yet. Oh, we're saving. Easy boss, yeah, that was an easy boss. But the, dif the difficulty in this map set is in the levels themselves. Themselves? Bosses haven't been hard. Or difficult. I guess difficult is the correct word. Okay, so let's get back up. Now we have the key. We need one more crystal, so I guess there's... Maybe there will be two bosses at one time here. Uh, wait a minute. Let's open the door first. <laughs> Don't get caught in them? I remember those doors. Really? 
That's funny, dude. It says those doors make sense as well. I've actually died in those doors a couple of times. Okay, let's save. I'm pretty sure this is a rapid fire over here, and that's time based. So let's just. No, it wasn't. It was fireball? Valiant Super Archwell is annoying, yeah. That took a long time for me to beat. <laughs> Holy crap. I never want to fight it again. Shit. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Uh-oh. Okay, where's... Is there a power-up? There's a power-up. Out here, Porcupine. Ooh, rapid fire. That's good. That's good. Throw a bomb and get rid of the flowers. Aim better. Yes. It's good. It's good. All the spawn flower dies when the boss dies. Well, there is two. I thought it was going to be two. There. Spam a bit. It's almost dead, so let's just focus on him and the flower should go away. Uh oh. Shit. Crap! Well, the Super Archwild is probably the hardest boss I've found so far. I don't know what else we oh, let's just load up here. Let's grab this fireball. There's not a lot of Doom Wood that actually have bosses as such. That's good. And then we pick up the rapid fire for the second one. That was easier when we had the fireballs. Oh, we should not stand there. We don't have places to move. We need to be able to move. Is there a third? Doesn't seem to be a third. Cool. Let's see what one of these port pines while we add it. Because now it's running out. Let's see what it is. that crystal. Not really the arch by itself that's hard to find. It takes a lot of its kill with like 9,000 hit points. It's the monsters around him that he brings back to life and also the lightning that tries to kill you when you're running around. Yeah. That entire fight is messed up. But it felt really good when you killed him. When you finally got him down, that felt good. Multiple hazards in that one fight. Yeah, that's in typical Doom fashion, sort of how the iOS was done. It was a leaf. <laughs> Take out all the other problems other than the Super Hot Fight. It wouldn't be that bad. Map 30 Hallmark. I must have played Boom compatibility stuff. Pretty hard to create a boss monster in D-Hacking compared to Decorator C script. I never used any of those. I never tried to make anything in those. Uh, but I trust you, you, you have more knowledge than I do. I just play Doom. I don't create, I just play. I did a couple of levels in early 2000, but they weren't good. 
Haven't really tried again since. Sometimes I really, really want to, but... I don't know. It takes a while for me to do even the most basic things in, like, Doom Builder. Dun, 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 dun. Let me see this again. Okay. I think we explored enough. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of how Xenoom ports handle a lot of vanilla things, or rather, don't handle them. Okay, we have more enemies here, though. Do you have an example of what it is you just like? What is it they mess up? <laughs> That's an elevator with a flower on it. Cute. This crystal is long way away. Are we gonna have more bosses, maybe? I don't want more bosses. Okay, is this a jump? There it is. Okay, these flowers just because we can. Wait, I saw that from below, right? I've seen that before. I like the lighting visuals in Z-Doom ports though, especially the GZ Doom. And the hit detection with both the fist and the chainsaw seems to be consistent in Z-Doom ports. I usually use GZ Doom for everything that doesn't specifically has to have another port. Okay, 100% kills and loot! <clears throat> Okay, so we finished this episode. Congratulations! And so Hokus vanished, the horrifying menace of the tree demons. Bits of them still rained down as Ho Hokus faced Terexin. Terexin's image smiled at him, but it was a smile Hokus recognized. Terexin was about to tell an awful joke. Hokus braced himself. While the tree demons were tough, said Terexin, but I guess the bark was worse than their fight. And Hocus did fall to the ground, and illness did overtake him, and, in his, and his bile told of his opinion of Terexin's joke. Tough crown, thought Terexin. Anyway, Hocus, on to the harsh grey dragons of Higgendom. Get going. Who score three million seven hundred and fifty six thousand two hundred and fifty points? Okay, on to episode three Warped and Wary. Ultra Violence. Okay, so let's see here. See, Doom Port ditched the RNG table. What? Okay. It changed the way block map collisions are handled. They also ditched the Sin Cost table. So no elastic collisions or gliding. Wall running is also something that's just patched in. No longer really a side effect of how movement is handled. It's not that consistent. It's flat out broken. The Berserk already has a higher effective DPS than the Super Shotgun. Meter range is also very much increased in Sea Doom ports. Okay. Some of this was news to me though. Can't you just... Can't you one hit kill a Revenant with a Berserk pickup? No, max pressure damage is 200, minimum punches is 2. That I knew, that 200 was max. What the hell? Starting off fighting with this. Ooh, we're back to bug bears. Nice. Well, not nice, they're still annoying, but. They were in episode 2. No, 1. I don't even remember anymore. Oh, they can't 
Now we're early episode 2. Art is pretty much how luck does or doesn't fall in your favor. Yeah. I know there's a lot of RNG in, well, at least in original Doom then. And then I guess it depends on which port you use. Okay, so what is this? What do you have to say? The creatures in this dimension are ruthless. Take these bombs to help you out. Okay, let's do the same. Uh, is this a door? This is a door. Damn, what is... What an annoying door. The scorpions again. They went from Egypt to here. Can I walk on this? Yes, but it disappears. Okay. What is this? So many power-ups. Why do we get so many power-ups? I get nervous now. Uh, due to the block map changes as well, the spider mass amount becomes a very easy one shot build BFG. Yep, I've noticed that. They don't really pose a threat if you get close fast. Okay, four crystals to be found. Uh, in vanilla, it's pretty difficult to get a one shot, like one in ten. Sometimes it goes in your favor, other times not. Stupid RNG. I wonder why they had so much RNG in Doom when they made it. I guess it's a good thing. It makes it more interesting. Seed Doom Ported uses seeded RNG system, basically a more modern version. Doom has all the random values pre calculated and placed in an addressable space. Wherever a random number is needed, it's pulled from there, and the next number is queued up. It was huge fans of Dungeons and Dragons. That explains a few things. <laughs> then again, wasn't Dungeons and Dragons like very popular back then? Four powered shots left. Now we're back to regular shots. Any more enemies want to show up? I can stand here all day. Not much. Well, not really all day, but. What? What the heck? Uh, pay attention, maybe? There's a lava there. <laughs> kind of starting to like my little box now in Sims. Well, that's good. That's good. It sounds like you're far from done, but progress has been made. It sounds like... Okay, so that's just back here. Yep. Okay. I do like GZ Doom as a games engine in its own right, though. Just not for Doom. You're working on a project for... Interesting. I like projects. <laughs> Especially if they turn out good. Like this one. I really like this one. This has been a... It's been really fun to play so far. Okay, so this... How do I get up there? Kill the scorpions if you can. Okay, so this is a door.
It's just like sniping Keikos. Except that these aren't red tomatoes flying in the sky. Huh. They have something down there? Uh oh. Is this some sort of jump pad? Yep. Okay, so you can't just run, you have to jump. Of course you have to jump. There's one scorpion on each of these. Some of them is hard to see, but they're there. Don't murder me. Pretty much that. Wondering whether this was made in Doom Builder 2 or GC Doom Builder, as I know Doom Builder 2 has sloped ramps just on the stairs, which Vanilla Doom was restricted to. Good question. I didn't really read the text file. I just started playing. See if I can find the text file. We'll, we'll take a look at that. There's the thing. Uh, text file. Uh, advanced MG needed GZ Doom. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The editors used Slade 3 GZ Doom Builder. Does not work with Brutal Doom. <laughs> GZ Doom Builder was used. And Slade. That's a jump platform. These are spikes. I can't walk on spikes, so let's go this way. It's not a builder feature, that's a map format feature. Hexen format was the first to add slopes. <laughs> Ooh, we're into technical details now. <clears throat> project is to be a port of Mech Warrior 2's gameplay into GZ Doom. Interesting. I like it when we when we we'll, I like it when people take other games and test them in Doom. Like that. Ooh, there's a teleporter there. I think almost every map I've seen in this looks good. Colorful, lots of height variety and building architecture. Yeah, and they're fun to play too. Here we have some green glass. Something. Okay, that was a nice little bonus room. And we're back here. Oh. Again, small jumps, don't do any big jumps. There we go, that went pretty fine. Okay, so let's get that over here. I wasted a couple of shots. Save. I try to save every now and then. Okay, so what is this then? More platforming. The silver key. Right, don't land on the spikes now. Perfect. 
I think it was at number 10. Oh my god, we're gonna have a bad joke coming up. I'm just gonna find a silver door. You know what? We'll just stay here. And let's find the, the book of bad jokes. No, I don't. I figured if we if it gets popular, I just buy another book at some point and switch it out so we can get some variation there. Though I guess that these books might have the same jokes in them. All these collection of books. Okay, I think you're gonna like this one. <clears throat> Number ten in the book of dad jokes. To write with a broken pencil is pointless. I've tried that. To write with a broken pencil is pointless. And the audience is laughing like crazy. It is pretty good. Oh, what's this? That's a lot of bugbears. That is a hell of a lot of bugbears. Scared me into the lava. I don't want to hit points for this. Oh, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna die here. Kinda wanna kill. No, there's a, there's a bridge. Walk in the bridge. That was such a virus joke. Ah, uh, Hexen format also allows 3D walk over under bridges. The thing that it does take the originality of the classic vanilla doom. Okay, so joke number 11. How does Moses make coffee? Ponder that while I'm loading. How does Moses make coffee? Lol, that's the I'm gonna grab the key and then I'm gonna give you the answer. God damn it. Okay, never mind. How does Moses make coffee? He brews it. He brews it. So now we know. Can we stop dying here now? I mean, it's pretty much six or seven easy jumps. God damn it. Those dad jokes is ruining my gameplay. Totally ruining my gameplay. And we're gonna save here so I don't have to do those jumps ever again. <laughs> good one. That's, that's a good one. Okay, um, we need to run around and find some hit points, I think. Because I don't have any. <laughs> Bat soup by Emotham. I have your balance in a city, huh? Okay, so... I can't get up there. There was a lot of hit point. There was a lot of life in the beginning. Oh. I didn't see the, the way to go for all the walls. Woohoo! Pretty sure there was hit points here, yeah? There we go. That's better. Back to the room where we died last time. I don't have money for subs at the moment, but I'm gonna use my points to spread it around as much as I can. Feel free. When you when you I have a question though, when you unlock an emote through points, how long do you keep it for? 
I don't know how long you keep it for. God damn it, at least we're not gonna fall into the lava this time. Should have learned that by now. 24 hours, okay. No, 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 I said we're not gonna fall into the lava. That means we stay on the bridge. Oh shit, I still have those laser beams. So if I don't pick that up, the, these enemies aren't spawning, right? playing this after consuming an ecstasy pill though. Yeah. That might give another experience. I wish they had added something to the points. Uh, to the maybe you get some sort of bonus for picking up this and that much points. But I guess there was the points in the original Hocus Pocus was irrelevant too, right? Oh, wait for me! Very funny elevator. The funniest elevator in the world. You ditch me and you bring up Dragon. Wow. Awesome. For, for Christ's sake! Whoa. Statues are nasty. Any type of illusionary drug, yeah. Should probably work with anyone. I'm not into drugs, so I don't know which ones would work or not. You could experiment if you're into that kind of thing. Holy crap, I haven't even watched. What was it called again? Bad. Super famous TV series. Huh, come on, brain. Bad breaks? No, that was not it. Uh, b -b -b Holy crap, brain! Work! It's embarrassing, I should know this. Bad Taste was a good movie though. If you're into B movie kind of things. Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. There we go. My brain woke up. Finally. Yep. Breaking back. Virus had, had this on lockdown. That was also like the TV series everybody talked about. It was Breaking Bad and it was Game of Thrones. You can all guess how many episodes of Game of Thrones I've seen. Zero. Not even Olympic star using both to catch that elevator. No. That elevator was horrible. This is horrible. What? Is there a switch I missed somewhere? <laughs> safe over here? Is it, okay, then turn off when you get the key. Cool. It's Breaking Bad, anything like the TV series The Wire? I have no idea. I haven't watched any of those two. So I can't answer that question. Okay. Oh, you can break this. Nice. Yeah, let's do this. Staircase. Ooh, hit points. Well, one hit point. That's better than no hit points. Ooh, a crystal. Nice. Small 
jumps again. There we go. This reminds me of what's Supersonic Doom. This was like a big project that had a lot of awesome things. That had an invisible archwile as a boss, I think. If I remember correctly. That was also pretty annoying. What did we get now? We got another key. Okay, so we've been on both sides, which means we should go back to the starting area again. I think that's where the locked doors were. Never seen that either. There's a lot of things we haven't seen. And there's a lot of things we will never see. Lock doors here. Oh, there's no doors though. Okay. Why am I destroying these? That makes no sense. Uh, it would be funny if these doors stayed open for more than like half a second. at all. Nope. Come on. What is this? What? <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Not the band. Okay. We made it up here somehow. Oh, boy. Spell upgrades? That is a lot of spell upgrades. Whoa! Stupid bug bears. Where's the first season of Breaking Bad? It started out good, kinda went south after that. What was it, five seasons in total? I think. sense to me. Okay, so where are we now? That's a lot of fire. Kind of easy to avoid though, but still. Oh boy, more platforming. The platforms that disappear. Nice. Another spell out there, you say? Well, I'll take it, I say. Wow, I should have seen that coming. Okay, we got a crystal there. Chill. Where did you come from? You piece of crap. Who's the main actor in the series? I don't remember his name. I do know that, that one of the authors of this series previously worked on the X-Files. Or was it even the creator of the series? I don't remember his name though, I just remember that he's been on the X-Files. Working on the X-Files. Is it Morgan? Cranston, that's the main actor. Did he do anything after? Did he get famous enough to get more jobs? Okay, so this was the kind of easy part. This time, either. Yes. Just murder these scorpions. Just 
Tacos. Okay, so... I'm just gonna hide up here. Stupid bunch of... Why is there just one bug there? I don't get it. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. I'm killing an answer because she's so damn pretty. The intro theme to the X-Files is really good. So good. Especially if you if you go onto like Spotify and listen to well, the whole thing, gets even better. They just use a little snippet in the TV series, but the rest of it is also really really good. Cause how do I get out of here? I just I can jump down here. Be a crazy boy. Should probably just have ran back up the same way we came here there, but hey. Where's the fun in that? I should have gone to the toilet a long time ago. I'm so bad at taking breaks when I'm streaming. I really should take more breaks. Whoa. Do I need to get up here again? Maybe. There is a suspect little thing up here. Well, I guess that was nothing. Cranston has done a lot of stuff over the years. He's got 157 credits on IMDb. Holy crap. Mostly TV series and supporting actor in movies. Well, that is quite a bunch. I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back soon. There we go. That was better. I'm fast. I hate the bathroom, so I don't spend more time in there than I have to. Whew. It doesn't take long to pee, and it doesn't long take very long to clean your hands, so... The only time you should take a long time in the bathroom is when you're at work. Right? Minimum 20 minutes. Okay, more fire traps. Cheers. What? Bot bears, I hate them. Such a 
stupid enemy. He's so annoying. <sighs> Where did we save last? Is it the first time I went up there? Jeez, I need to save more often. I need a save emote or something. People can spam when I don't save. Oh, we have to do, this is the third time we're doing this now, I think. This is why I save from time to time, so we don't have to do the same thing over and over again. But apparently I'm bad at it. Apparently I'm bad at everything. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Ciao! Ah, one hit point. That's an interesting predicament. I wonder what's... Oh. Crap. Well, let's just load. I don't want to run the entire roundabout again. Let's be lazy for once. I haven't really been lazy yet. Holy crap. Okay, we did it. We should be fine. We should take two damage going over there. Okay, fine. I can live with that. Fucking hell. Have you also had that problem when you play a game for too long? You start getting a little bad at it? And then you get better again? I don't know what that dip is coming from. Remember now that there are bugbears coming. There are bugbears over here. Rusty, yeah. I mean, you can do fine for like an hour and a half, and then you have a rusty period. And then you're back to doing fine again. I never figured out why you have that rusty dip in the middle there. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I never understood that. There we go. I think it says Yahoo when you pick up a spell upgrade. Go pick this up, avoid that stupid bug there. Pick up all the loot. Put in here. Pick up all this loot. Take damage from those puffs coming out of the lava there. Perfect. Let's get back to the start area and save. There's nothing more there, so let's go here. Save. I wish more Doom Woods were as unique and different like this. It feels to be. This seems to be one of a kind, yeah. You should try it out if you haven't. You can type exclamation point wood in the chat to get a download link. What? This was a 2019 Cake Award material, so you can probably find it there too. If you don't want to click links. Ah, oh, no space, just one word. My 
I need to pay for a subscription? No, you don't. You can just leave that. There we go. Poke was doomed? Did I just... I forgot the word poke is... What the hell? Lacy, lacy. Is there's where you use the key. Is there a scorpion you probably need to kill? No hit there, thank you. Jeez. So there's a power up of sorts. I think three episodes in you and you know what all the power ups do, but no, I don't. <laughs> okay, so there's both the locks here. Is it in the lava? No? There it is. Okay. It looks like Fireball. What's a fireball? One more sequence complete. Something happened up here. Switch beard. Okay. And then you just need a Doom 2 ward file and GZ Doom to play it. Okay, so that was crystal. Interesting. Oh, then I think we do actually need to jump over to the other side there. So we do need to go to that stupid area we've been through four times already. One more time. Holy crap, I don't want to go there again. Uh, yeah, I think we have to do that. Now we have fireball power up. So I can't really break those blocks just for fun, and I will waste my power up. There's one health left there. The timer is on 999 again, so we won't get a timer bonus. Which is fine. This area again, we all know this by now, Ren. Made it. Whoa, I forgot these. Whew, reflexes. Nice. I need to jump to here. I don't need to jump to here. There we go. The last crystal could be in here. Bugbears, we got a couple of dragons. Ooh, a portal. We'll never know where we go. That's I'm actually gonna save again. And here we go. Okay, we're outside. A super jump. I don't think it is. Nope, it's a laser or whatever it is. It goes through enemies. That's nice. Jump. Shots. Uh oh, that was not right. No. Back 
to normal shots. There's the last crystal though, so if you can just get that without dying, we're fine. Itchy nose. Classic streamer illness. What is this, this long thing? Do I get... Do I need to go all the way over there and then back? Seems excessive. Oof. Should be back more there. And then you need to jump all the way over there to get the thing. Okay. Seems horrible. Let's do it. Tjena, <laughs> Patrick! I'm off to try it now. Check my YouTube if you want. I'll give it a glance after the stream. Good luck with the... Uh, with playing the levels. They're good. Uh, is there something down there? That looks suspiciously secretish. Who is Lägen with Patrick in the Sitter han och spelar Game Gear och klappar spindlar, tror jag. Ooh, there's life there. What is, what is this now? You know what? I'm just gonna grab that and then go check. Looky, looky! Oh, no. That just leads back. In you will. Jumpy, jumpy. More hit points here. Ah, spill it to Saturn. Yeah, right. Själv är det bara bra. Sitter här och spelar spel. 100% kills och loot. Whoa, okay. Getting into the weird stuff. and the upper Dorian for the new one. The flora had a lot of power-ups. Guess we just need to find them again. This statue is my new best friend. That is a serious amount of scorpions right there. And this dragon. And bug bears. What is this? This is the correct link. Nice. Ah, yeah. Oops. Seems very well. Nogle lunda nöjd. Spell upgrade. Get out of here, dragons. Okay. Åh, så snyggt. Usch, hur många poäng som ligger där ska jag ha. Pudum. Det är det jag vill att se nu. Det kanske ska bli mitt nya uppdrag i livet att göra det. Ok, 
Okay, I think we cleared most of the enemies. Så pankar jag med lite aggression i Dark Souls istället. Som kanske har tid för lite Horizon. Jag såg Orator spela Dark Souls 2. Han var på någon boss. Venerik. Kan han ha hetat så? Typ en jättesombi med ett enormt svärd. Det verkar vara den segaste fighten jag har sett hela mitt liv, tror jag. Dörr, så det är väl dit vi ska. Vendrick. Så var det. Hans svärd såg rätt coolt ut. Uh, just det, dörrarna ballar ur lite om man står in och den här strängs. Chatten han hade var helt vansinnig för att han inte gjorde det där andra man skulle göra. Han sprang ju bara in och började slå på bossen, det är ju typ ingen skada på honom när man slår honom. Jag tror att chatten var ju upprorad. Alltså. Man skulle kunna säga att backseatingen var ju full fart. Nu ska vi se, jag måste sätta raka här, där vi kan skjuta sönder här. Har de skjutandes på mig? Det är massa scorpions också. De måste ha lite saker i inventariet. Han har 32 gånger så mycket defense som normalt. Då var det väl det han inte hade då. Skada varje gång han slog på båsen. Det var rätt kul att sitta och titta på faktiskt. Jag kan bara hoppa närmare där borta och kasta en bomb. Men jag... I like killing enemies from afar. That is my thing. That scorpion down, and then we'll probably go. I would have done the same thing if this was a regular Doom level. Okay, so what is this? Nothing? For loot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Wow, ska vi lyssna på låtar? Jag ska bara hitta ett säkert ställe och se vad det är som skjuter på mig. Okej, okay, då ska vi se här. Beroende på hur många items man har så är det defense 32, 16, 8, 4, 2 eller 1. Nice! <laughs> Chatten var helt koko. Sound of silence, men disturb, disturbly nice. Sound of silence kan bli svårt att höra. Hej. <laughs> Där. Då kör vi mingert. Okay boy, hype. Det är den. Jag älskar den här låten. Jag visste inte att Disturb hade gjort en version av det.
fica ali dentro. Você tem um Le Feu, velho? Agora que a gente vai falar com o Ska vi se, vad ska vi se vad Patrik vill höra? När det kommer till lugna låtar så är den bra. Och den här Gary Jewel's Mad World är riktigt bra. Amaranth, 82nd all the way. Sabaton gjorde en version av den också va? Det vill jag minnas. Nu ska jag vad söker man på då? Vi söker på Amaranth såklart. Men vi kanske ska ha ett A i början. Amma. Ah, Där har vi dem. Ett steg närmare. 80 second all the way. Kommer den här för dig Patrik. Och alla andra som råkar lyssna. Ready? Aim. Okay, York. You're on your own. Jag svänger ner den samma som du sänker. Se till om volymen blir bra eller sämre. Jag tycker det var för det.
Ahí está el vecino. The way you from Tennessee. Sådär. Det är två bra låtar i radio. Jag hade aldrig hört den där igen. Disturbed cover eller så på den här förut. Jag hade inte hört Amarantis låt heller. Jag hade bara hört Sabatons innan. Tjärt, vi spelar tillbaka lite här nu. Det är riktigt bra. Jag håller med dig. Jag kommer inte ihåg hur originalet låter bara en annan. Nu ska vi se. Jag har ingenting att klaga på där. Nu borde man komma åt den här kristallen. Troligen så ska man på något sätt låsa upp någon dörr nästan så vi har två nycklar. Så ska man komma tillbaka hit sen. Så kan man ha en situation svänger mer än Sabaton. Har, man, har de i luren efter det var andra skitbobbet då tänker man mer på det. Och det blir lite mer variation på andra rans. Så var de först? Eller var Sabaton först? Jag, jag har ingen aning. Men Amarants variation, var, variant blir lite mer varierad som de var två sångare. Det var ju mycket förresten. De har ju både en manlig och en kvinnlig sångare. Sabaton har ju samma sångare hela tiden. Så redan där blir det lite mer... Jaha, tre nycklar. Ja, bara två. Redan där blir det lite mer variation. Vilket kan vara bra. Sen gillar jag kvinnliga sångare i metal faktiskt. Lyssna på... Vad heter hon? Angela Gasso i Arch Enemy, så det är en som kan sjunga. Sabaton först. Så de var först, ja. Tre sångare till och med, ja. De var det ena jag missar om andra ord. Det känns väl Sabaton som lite mer så här bandet som gör som kan göra covers på lite vad som helst. Okej, okay, ingen nyckel där. Irländsk musik. Tja, 
vet inte. Jag kan inga irländska band rakt av så där. Men den, den är väl inte dålig. Men när du säger typ irländsk pubmusik så är det väl helt okej. Okay. Har vi den nyckeln? Nej. Var är den då? Ska vi se vi kan. Vi kan öppna två av dem här så måste vi hitta två nycklar till. Spännande. Vad är ah, de där borta såklart? Ja. Där vi inte gick innan. Cheers up med Fiddler's Green. Fiddler's låter ju som att säga gitarr, pringling. Så då tar vi bort i den. Oh shit, har vi plockat över Fireball någonstans? Här ska vi se. Cheer up Fiddler's Green. Det kan inte finnas många barn som heter Fiddler. Fiddler on the Green. Vad heter låten? Den står där. Ja, nu ska vi se. Det är blick på det. Cheer up. Cheer up med Fiddler's Green. Hej dig. Kör vi! Då är vi då. Framför min skärm, gör det i bakgrunden. Sopa.
damn kill. Fjolande på slutet. Till slut. Cheer up. The worst is yet to come. Det var nästan vad jag hade tänkt mig i alla fall när du sa irländsk musik. När jag fick hem Saturnen så tyckte jag paketet vägde mycket. Men strömavhandlaren vägde bäst. Är det en sån här jättestor klump eller? Nej. Jag tänkte inte hitta på en lite höjd sådana här. Foten om man tappar den. Okej. Okay. Den där saknar var den här irländska dialekten. Jag tycker han hade lite lite dialekt. Jag tror det är nästan precis som jag hade förväntat mig när du sa irländsk musik. Men klart, alla band har inte dialekt. Så. Wow! Nu ska vi se vad finns det här borta. Ut. Är det någon sån där strömavvandlare som man måste använda eller kan man skaffa en mindre? Så kan vi ju en poäng stå still annars är det valt ett band från Skottland. Ja, du får ju poäng även om du inte... Det kanske går lite långsamt. Rillar in. På Chip Marie och McKenzie skulle vara något för dig. Får kolla upp den så här. Jag hade en kompis som var väldigt inne i så här irländsk musik. Så här lite udda musik. Det var en massa kallare. Han lyssnade väldigt mycket på så här. Jag tror Go 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 Bordello eller något sånt. Go Go. Nej, sluta skjuta på mig. Go Go Go. Men du, för helvete. Stå still. Fick dig. Snygg diamantstapel. Den tar vi. Så den här du spelar perfekt för musikanskningar. Saturnen är japansk, så den tar ju bara 110 watts volt, förlåt, så den ena omvandlar fixar så att det inte brinner upp. Ja, men det är ju bra att det inte brinner upp i alla fall, eller? Det hade faktiskt varit lite tråkigt. 
Lame dragon. Oh, I was losing both power up, but the most of one just got here. Huh? Bomber? A fjorton bomber? Använder jag inte mer bomber? Jag ska in här och göra det, det finns en knapp där inne. Länge sedan vi sparade den. Vi vill säkert byta nätet att trycka av tiden, men... Jag vet inte, men jag får en palmaskin. Mm. Kanske låter det som massa onödigt jobb om... ...om vandlaren funkar. Mm. Var är vi nu? Jag har inte varit här, nej, jag vet inte. Jag kan flyga egentligen bara rakt mot den, det är inte så... ...smart. Oh. Det är fin. Imorgon blir det bokäventyr, ja. Start någon gång framåt. Kvällen där, kanske 18.00. Jag har inte helt hundra spik, det beror på när jag känner för att börja egentligen. <hör> Låter bra, jag hoppas det. Vilket med boken. Vi ska spela den här, eller jag ska spela den här. Eh, ensamma vargen heter den. Det är så här rollspelsäventyr för en person. Där man läser i en bok. Och så får man olika val. Och beroende på vilket val man väljer så hoppar man till ett annat ställe i boken. Och så händer det någonting. Och så har man ett litet formulär som man skriver upp saker på. Det är väldigt, väldigt kort ett rollspelsäventyr för en person. Jag chatten kan ju vara med och välja kanske, om chatten vill vara med och välja något val någon gång. Jag har inte bestämt om vi ska rolla karaktären live eller om jag ska göra det först, för det är ganska ointressant. Det är ju bara några val man ska göra. Och rulla en tärning typ två gånger. Jag vet inte om det är något som är intressant att titta på. Vi får bestämma under morgondagen. Nu har jag inte den boken här så jag kan inte visa den. Den ligger inne i bokhyllan. Så jag kan inte visa. Men om du googlar ensamma vargen, flykt undan mörkret, tror jag den heter. Det första äventyret i serien. Jag har inte kommit på hur jag ska göra om man dör heller, ska man... Ja, vi kan diskutera det imorgon kanske. Det finns lite olika sätt att lägga upp det på. Vad exakt gör jag här? Här verkar inte finnas någonting. Det var en knapp där borta, tryckte jag inte på den. Gjorde jag nog inte va? Nej, det har nog inte gjort. Vad händer nu då? Nu har det öppnat sig där. Det är en nyckel, bra. Mission set. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Grab the key. Danke. Så 
Så nu har vi de två sista nycklarna. Nu kan vi gå och hämta... Eller nu kan vi gå och klara av banan till och med. Och man lyckas ta mig dit utan att kola på vägen. Oj. Det här ser bra ut än så länge. Kommer vi något här nere förresten? Ja, det var den här studsplattan där. Det var ju ointressant. Om något. Vi kan gå rakt fram här va? Det har vi mer liv nu. Jag tror inte vi behöver det här för det kan vara bra. Här har vi också en liten grafikbugg tror jag. Så här, här ska man nog inte kunna se igenom den väggen nu. Spännande. som bryter spelet på mitten ändå så. Det är inte så mycket gnälla över. Här kan vi gå in och trycka på en knapp nu då. Kanon, och så längst bort. Googla symptom, det är ingen bra idé. Antingen har jag fått ont random blöd min kassa hållning samtidigt som jag drar på med någon förkylning med min klassiska luftröskertar eller så har jag lungcancer. Ska aldrig googla symptom, nej. Aldrig någonsin. Går det bra? Det går bra. Mm. Det går bra, grus. Hur går det för dig? Jo. 666. Ja, what the fuck? Ögonblick. Hjälp mig. Jösses. Det är för många. Checks. Det var jag faktiskt inte beredd på. Det har varit ett skräckspel så det har varit en riktig jumpscare. Var kom den bomben ifrån? Jag har ingen bomb. Kastar du en bomb? Along your journey you will find smart bombs. If you hit one, it will destroy all monsters you see. Ja, nu såg jag ju aldrig hur den såg ut. Okej okay, då. Satt och nördade lite Call of Duty. Nu blir det skämt nummer 666. Nu behöver jag se här. 5, 640. Okej. Okay. Okej, den här var lite skum, men vi får se vad ni säger om den. <clears throat> My doctor's office has two doctors on call at all times. Is that considered a paradox? My doctor's office has two doctors on at call at all times. Is that considered a paradox? Jag vet inte. Chatten avgör den, tror jag. Paradox, precis. Satt och nördade Call of Duty. Vann du? Det var skumt. Red Cap. What? Åh, oh, ja, äntligen. Det var ju smart bomb då, alltså. Det var en... Det var bomb, så att säga, som jag kan plocka upp och använda. Så fortsätter jag använda dörrar till sin fördel. Vad var det? Vinner alltid. Fuskar du? För är du så bra? Det var en devil som flög förbi här. Vad tar han vägen? Jag hoppar upp och lejma lite krokodilen medan vi väntar. Nu slipper vi ta hand om dem sen. 
Nej, gå ut där. Där är David. Kom upp här och så jag kan... Du är ju god. Jag vill inte använda bomber på dem här, de är inte så fint. Det var den första fina man stötte på i spelet för övrigt. Nu har de börjat komma tillbaka igen. Ja, ja. Så är det. Bra, du. Ska man hoppa ner här nu eller ska man hoppa ner här sen? Hur kommer man upp i den frågan? Det är väl det som får vi göra. Nu kan vi se hur den här smartbomben ser ut. Här. Det ser ut som ett skum någonting. Nu ska Mingert sova. Då får du sova gott, Mingert. Tack för att du stannar här ikväll. Och sov gott, som sagt. Jag har inte så lång tid på här ändå. Oh, ja. Det är något pucko som ska vara i vägen. Vi har svamparna i bakgrunden här med vad man ska kalla det. Balders balle! Det var inte jag. Tack för bitsen grus. Ah, dumma svampar. Vad gör ni här? Det är inget Mario-spel. Kan ha fyra. Jag är säker på att det här leder tillbaks. Oh, det var den väggen jag tyckte var konstig. Bra, då går vi tillbaka hit en gång till. Fortsätter vi kolla vad som finns här borta. Vad är det för Call of Duty du spelar då? Är det något av de nya eller är det något av de gamla? Eller är det... Helt annat. Nya Modern Warfare. Anta att du tycker det är roligt där eftersom du spelar det. Då behöver vi nyckeln alltså. Okej. Okay. Då ska vi inte gå hit åt mer. Spelar du med kompisar eller spelar du själv? Åh, 
Vad i hel? Och så har vi inte sparat. Varför är jag så jävla dålig på det här? Lira med poolers. Det blir roligare då va? Nej, du ska ju vara död, krokodiljäk. Det är inte svårt. Ja, vi tar och rensar den här vägen här och inte har lyckan där. Det är en bra idé. Nu när vi ändå vet vad som händer här. I approve. Huh? Should we go for all? More than one super hot day, maybe. Neighbor of the beast. The fixer is here. Okay, let's pause here. Let's see what's here. Skopje senja. Vänta lite, vi får höra ett skämt först. Hämta lite grejer till skotern. Har du gått? Har du gått? Har du gått? Sex, sex, fem. Så vi långt bak igen. Ah, sex, sex, fem. Nu ska vi se här. Sex, sex, fem. My boss is going to fire the employee with the worst posture. I have a hunch it might be me. Vad faktiskt rätt okej. My boss is going to fire the employee with the worst posture. I have a hunch it might be me. On topic, ja, lite så. Välja att bota min möjliga lunkanse med choklad och äppelloka. Funkar mot allt. Lycka till nu då i morgongrus. Lycka till. Va? Ah, gillar du inte skämtet? Det var ju hur bra som helst. Hunch. Det kan betyda att man har en aning. Eller att man har puckelryggar, va? 
Men att man är lite så här sex. Kutrygg heter det, Inte puckerrygg. Hö, hö, hö. Vi ner en polett, va? Ja, det händer så här. Kolvet försvann. Oj. Ja, det är nästan någon sköt på mig. Kommer det garanterat bli? Oh. Jag tror jag var den spaken gjorde så jag fick sätta var hård i golvet. Så opassande. Total crazy. Ja, det är nyckel, det är inte en nyckel alltså. Ja, då missar vi något. Fiender här. Såg det allt. Nu. Tror du det var? Jag tycker vi ska gå ut i snön. Det var så gött om du hinner sluta innan vi kommer tillbaka. Vi ska sluta om bara någon minut här så att det hinner vi nog. Och du får lycka till ut i snön. Här är det ingen snö. Det kom lite, lite, lite snö i natt men den regnar ju bort på förmiddagen redan så att det var ju det var inte mycket att hänga i någon gran. Tjurtjurtja! snöat hela veckan. Det är som jag säger, det är inte rättvist. Här finns ingen snö och jag blir aldrig kung. Det här har vi ett bra ställe att sluta på för nu är vi precis vid den låsta dörren tror jag. Farligt nära plus hela helgen. Fast måndag natt blir det 13 minus. Ja, vad gött. Ska jag öppna skolomsfönstret. Ta en save här och så 
lägger vi ner för ikväll. Så vi ser, har vi någon live kanske? Svedlund håller på fortfarande. Hampshire är igång. Jag tror jag raidat Hampshire fler gånger så vi tar Svedlund tror jag. Om inte han ska sluta precis. I need to. Jag vet inte riktigt vad han håller på med. Vi kör en raid så får vi se. Får ni lite mer points också? Lite mer rumpa får ni. Två, ett. Kör en raid och så får ni... Ni har det så gött. Händer det något? Nu gör det. Kanon. Tack och hej!